Is Arsenal's treatment of Meza Ozil justified or has he been hung out to dry and the Gunners face Rapid Vienna in the Europa League? Hi and welcome to Stay Gooned. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. This is the Red and White Board Show bringing you Arsenal and football news and views. Arsenal take on Rapid Vienna tonight in the Europa League, our opening game of this year's competition. Uh, it's a tournament we've come close to winning in the past and it presents an opportunity for a European trophy and qualification for that Champions League. The Europa League doesn't really get interesting until at least the quarter-final stage with the opening rounds normally quite dire with teams fielding weaker teams. I expect the same sort of team to be fielded tonight by Mikel Arteta so I wanted to do a quick predicted XI for the game but before I do do that I have to touch on the news about Meza Ozil which has blown up in the last 24 hours or so. Meza Ozil was of course left out of Arsenal's Europa League squad last week and he's now been left out of the 25-man Premier League squad and he's cast huge doubts over whether or not he'll play for Arsenal again. Ozil has issued a statement on this yesterday via his Instagram. Uh, it was quite an emotional statement. I'm not going to read the whole thing out, but he does touch on loyalty, the fact that Arsenal have not been loyal to him after he showed Arsenal loyalty in signing his new deal back in 2018. He touches on the fact that he was brought back into the team by Mikel Arteta and he felt things were going well but then he was, in his words, not allowed to play for Arsenal again. He goes on to say that he doesn't want his Arsenal career to end in this fashion and perhaps the last sentence of the statement is most telling. After pledging to keep fighting and training hard to get back into the Arsenal team, he says that he'll continue to use his voice against injustice and inhumanity across the world. Alluding to the fact that the statement he made back in December about the Chinese government and their inhumane and barbaric treatment of the Uyghur Muslims is the reason why he's been omitted from this Arsenal team. There was of course a lot of fallout after he did make the statement and Arsenal failed to back him and not only did they fail to back him, they pretty much hung him out to dry by distancing themselves from his comments. For me, this is the single biggest reason why Ozil is no longer playing for Arsenal. He did get back into the team after that and he played in every single match under Mikel Arteta before the lockdown. But this was the beginning of the end. And the refusal to take a pay cut during the lockdown added fuel to the fire. Arteta in his pre-match press conference, he took all the responsibility upon himself saying that it was his decision to not include Meza Ozil for footballing reasons and the decision didn't come from the board and he was pretty adamant about it as well. He's certainly a guy that knows how to handle himself in these press conferences. He did come across quite well but if he is covering for a decision from the board he's not likely to come out and say it in a press conference. I find it difficult to believe that it's um, just simply footballing reasons. Mikel Arteta played him in every single game before the lockdown and then all of a sudden after the lockdown was over he didn't even play a single minute and he only made one matchday squad and now he's been completely removed and he hasn't even got a chance to come back and prove himself. So what did happen during that lockdown? Apart from the pay cut issue there was no training going on during that period so you can't be saying that he's not training hard enough. The training didn't resume until at about a month before the restart and it, in the initial stages it was individual training. Nobody can convince me that Meza Ozil is no longer good enough to get into this Arsenal team. Maybe not starting every match but he definitely can get onto the bench and start in some games. Despite the fact that he's not the same player, he's still got top quality. There's got to be more to it. The China issue, the Peka issue, the Gunnosaurus issue, they've all played their part. Arsenal probably have tried to offload him and pay him off during the summer, but maybe Meze has declined their offer. He's still on the books and Arsenal are still paying him, so why not use him in his final year of his contract? It baffles me, but maybe the relationship has become so strange that Arsenal have decided to, um, to say to Meza, you're not going to get a single more penny out of us than what we will have to pay you. 
most players these days have appearance and performance related bonuses tied to their contracts so if Ozil doesn't play then Arsenal don't have to pay him those bonuses it could have come down to that what is really going on here we're all guessing and trying to see between the lines the club aren't addressing it and I doubt that they will all we have is Arteta's word and Mesut's statements and they seem to be contradictory maybe we'll find out one day but it looks like it's a sad end to Meza Ozil's Arsenal career he's been a top player for us especially in the opening four or five years hopefully he'll get the send-off that he deserves on the pitch before his contract expires let me know down below your thoughts on this whole situation one thing for sure he definitely won't be playing for us for the rest of this calendar year anyway but who will be playing in tonight's game in the Europa League? Let's get into my predicted XI for the game. Mikel Arteta will likely make a whole host of changes for this game and I think we might see Alex Runarsson in goal for his debut. The back three, um, we got limited options with the injuries we have at the moment but Kolasinac may come back in uh, on the left wing, uh, left centre back position sorry and Gabriel and Luiz will keep their place in that back three. I think Ainsley maitland Niles might come in at left wing back with Cedric coming in for Bellerin on the other side. Mohamed El Nenny will come back into the team also and a debut for Thomas Partey or starting debut for Thomas Partey and I think the front three will be Bukayo Saka, Eddie Nketiah and Rhys Nelson. Let me know down below your lineup for the game and your score prediction too. I think it will be a tight game but we will nick it 2-1. Hopefully we can get the Europa League campaign off to a great start. That's just about it folks. Thanks to everyone for watching. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up wherever you are in the world. Stay safe and stay gooned.